In this video, I'm going to show you how to level up one of the most important stickings in drumming and using three simple but powerful concepts, transform your drum fills from predictable and boring to exciting and interesting. In my opinion, right left kick is one of the most important and useful stickings we have as drummers. It's the root of most of the chops and licks we play, but it tends to be played in basically the exact same way, like this. The first concept we're going to deal with is orchestration, which comes from the word orchestra. Now, our orchestra doesn't contain violins, cellos, bassoons, but it does contain all of our drums and cymbals. So we're going to take this sticking, right, left kick, and we're going to play it three times in its natural home base subdivision of triplets. There's a million different ways you could orchestrate this, so make sure you explore different ideas and also explore all of the sounds available to your kit, no matter how big or how small it is. Now level two is all about subdivision. In this one, we're going to change the subdivision from triplets into 16th notes. So that means that right left kick is going to fit five times with one left over. So before you tackle this fill and to get you used to playing this three note sticking in 16th notes, play it in three, four, all on the snare drum, and that's going to fit four times. Now what I recommend is you keep a left foot quarter note because it's really freaking hard, but it's going to make you better and it's going to help you know exactly where the quarter note is. Once you've got that down, here's the orchestration we're going to do. We're going to go right left kick on the snare, then right on the first tom, left on the snare drum, kick drum. Then we're going to go back to the snare, right left kick. And then we're going to go floor tom, snare drum, kick drum, floor tom, floor tom, kick drum, floor tom. And that leaves us with a left crash. That last note, you can play with the left hand, you can play with the right hand. You could play it with both hands if you really wanted to. It's up to you. Now it's time to introduce our final powerful tool. And this is one that often we don't play as drummers, especially in this sticking. And the most powerful tool is dynamics. Because dynamics allow us to have a contour to our phrasing and play more musically. We don't want to be just blasting notes at everyone at full volume all the time. We want to have some dynamics to our playing so it feels natural and sounds a lot more interesting to listen to. Now our fill for level three, which is going to incorporate dynamics and orchestration, is going to go like this. We're going to go right accent, Ghosted left, kick drum, all on the snare. Then we're gonna go right on the floor tom, accented, ghost note on the snare drum, kick drum. Then we're gonna go ghost left, kick, ghost right up on the tom, kick, snare, snare, all loud, kick, and then one final floor tom. That sounds like this.
These three powerful concepts will set you up for a world of amazing fills and grooves, but they're only three of seven powerful steps that I've got in my course, The Process. Now you can get that by joining my membership site, which is davemajormusic.com. Loads of courses on there, specifically for grooves, how to practice, and just basically practicing smarter and unlocking your creativity on the drum kit. If you wanna go check it out, the link is down below. Now level four, we're gonna get a little bit weird. We're gonna mess things up a little bit. We're also gonna move the kick drum to the start just to give it a different flavor. And we're gonna do crossovers because why not? So we're gonna start with the kick drum, we're gonna go kick, and then we're gonna go right hand on the hi-hat, left hand on the snare drum. And we're gonna kick, floor tom with the right hand, left hand on the hi-hat. Right hand on the hi-hat, floor tom with the left hand, kick drum, there's our crossover. And then we've got snare, snare, kick, snare, first tom, floor tom. A little down the drums, ba doom at the end. That sounds like this, slow, medium, and fast. You guys know the drill. So level five, the big one. Let's smash everything together. Let's do orchestration, dynamics, and mix our subdivisions. We're gonna do six 16th notes. That's gonna go right, left, kick, right, left, kick. One E and a two E. Then we're gonna do six 16th note triplets. But starting on the and of two, that's gonna go and triplet, three triplet. Then we're gonna go back to 16th notes with a right, left, kick. Finally, let's round it out with three 16th notes. Now I've orchestrated it one way, but I want you to explore this a thousand different ways on your kit. So that's five levels of right left kick using three incredibly powerful concepts. If you want to take your fills further though, check out this video where I show you the thing I discovered about paradiddles that blew my mind.